did our job. I mean, we did the best we could, and it just wasn't enough, you know. So at the end of the day, we just got to take what we can from it and learn from it. Why, what things were they able to do that maybe you guys weren't expecting up there? Oh, uh, shit. I mean, we practiced for a lot of this shit that it was, like, running, you know. So it's like they just hit us on a couple trick plays, and then other than that, they just was running the ball, you know. And we knew what they were going to do, and we just – we was in some calls, you know, we just got to make plays at the end of the day. We got to make every call right. Was there any particular reason why you guys weren't able to stop their run game? Uh, you know, they, they got us out of some, uh, they were scheming us a little bit, you know. Um, we're trying to disguise and try to play with the quarterback a little bit, but, you know, at the end of the day, they were just out executing us. How tough is this to have as the final note to the season? No, it's def uh, definitely difficult, you know, as a team, but, um, you know, we got a lot of young guys coming back. Got, got a lot of guys coming back. So you know, um, we're just looking forward to the next season. What did, what did it do collectively when Keaton went out? Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely sickening when somebody gets hurt and uh, has to sit down. But it's always the next man up. It's always will be, and you know, everybody just has to execute. I was on offense a lot in the uh, on offense a lot in the first half. What was the conversation at halftime to maybe try and get them off the field a little bit more? Uh, we got to be better on third down, you know. We, they gave, we gave them every third down, matter of fact. But um, you know, we just have to be aware of more situations and um, play situational football better. They ran a lot of 23 personnel, 12 personnel. How did that impact your run fits? Uh, it didn't really impact it. You know, we all have our run fits. We all have our jobs. So when one person gets out of their job and doesn't handle it, you know, it, it, they break. So you know, they'll get in like five, six yards every play. So you know, you can't win like that. And, and was that, did you guys see much of that on film, that personnel package, or was that a wrinkle you thought they threw in for you guys yeah. specifically? Oh, we kind of knew that they were going to come out and try to big, big football us, you know. Um, but we, like I said before, they just out executed us. Now, is it is it normal tendency to run a lot of man coverage inside the uh, 10 yard line, goal line situations, or was that based on this particular package? You know, uh, these guys, they ran a lot of, um, they ran the ball really, so we want to play tight coverage, you know. Um, they just made their plays. What was Coach Helton's message to you guys afterward? What was that? What was Coach's message to you afterward? Uh, you know, we're a family at the end of the day. You know, we always got to fight to the end of it and um, stick together and really just get ready for the next year. What do you guys have to do to bounce back and perform better next season? It starts shit now. You know, it's, it's all these young guys coming back. It's all about getting in the film room, you know, knowing what to do and just really just getting in the weight room and get, get ready for next year. Obviously, any time that the team struggles a couple years in a row from the standards that USC has, coaching changes are, are discussed. Obviously, Clay Helton's coming back with the potential of maybe Clancy Pendergast being gone. How do you guys kind of approach a situation like that as players? You know, at the end of the day, this uh, college football is a business, you know, so you can't get too attached to people because, you know, jobs can change very easily. But um, at, the end, at the end of the day, we just have to play football and make every call count.